D.B. Neruda Kazatzal, better known as Earl Sweatshirt, is a well-known American rapper and record producer. He released his first mixtape titled Earl in 2010, when he was only 16 years old. The mixtape contained obscene content and dealt with rape and murder. It made a lot of headline for this. Before gaining fame, he used to release his music through his MySpace page. He was discovered by Tyler the Creator. He was also a part of Tyler the Creator's hip-hop collective, Odd Future, before he left for boarding school. As a result, he couldn't produce any music for almost two years. He returned from boarding school to rejoin the collective and produce more music. In 2013, he released his debut studio album titled Doris that received critical acclaim. His second album, I Don't Like Shit, I Don't Go Outside, an album by Earl Sweatshirt was released in 2015, and it was very well received by the critics as well as his fans. He is currently signed to Columbia Records and also has his independent label Tan Cressida. D.B. Neruda Kazatzal was born on February 24, 1994, in Chicago, Illinois. He was born to Kira Petz Kazatzal, a South African poet and political activist, and Cheryl Harris, a law professor at the University of California, Los Angeles. His parents were separated when Thebe was only eight. His father died in 2018, following a short illness. Thebe attended the UCLA Lab School in Los Angeles and New Roads High School in Santa Monica. He started rapping when he was only eight years old. He started creating music via his MySpace channel and released his first set of tracks in 2008. The tracks were from his first mixtape titled Kitchen Cutlery. He released his music under the name Sly Tendencies. He, along with two of his friends, Luffy and J.W. Mijo, formed a trio called The Backpackers. The trio planned on releasing a mixtape titled World Playground but soon disbanded and went their separate ways. That was only the beginning of a grand rapping career for young Phoebe. In 2009, he was discovered by Tyler the Creator, who invited Slight Tendencies to join his hip-hop collective Odd Future. Tyler heard Slice music on the latter's MySpace channel and reached out to him. After joining Odd Future, he changed his name to Earl Sweatshirt. He also featured in various magazines such as Spin, Billboard, and The Fader. In 2010, at the age of 16, he released his first official mixtape titled Earl, which was a self-released album. Despite being a success, Earl had to stop making music with Odd Future for a while. His mixtape dealt with a lot of obscene content and became the hardest videos to watch. Probably, this was one of the reasons why his mother decided to not allow Earl to be associated with Odd Future. She made him go to a therapeutic retreat school named Coral Reef Academy in Samoa. In an interview, Earl claimed that he was sent to Samoa because he got into trouble with some of his friends. During his time at school, Earl read Manning Marble's biography on Malcolm X and Richard Farina's counterculture fiction. He also wrote lyrics of Oldie which was his one and only contribution to the Of Tape Volume 2. While Earl was in boarding school, The Odd Future made headlines across the world and worked on their hip-hop transition. The members of the collective also continued their rally cry Free Earl. In 2011, three unreleased songs by Sweatshirt were released through the Odd Future mixtape. In February of 2012, rumors started spreading about Sweatshirt's return to the U.S. A YouTube video was released that teased new music from Earl. 50,000 more followers demanded on Earl's Twitter handle for the full release of his new music, and the work was done in three hours. Home, a minute and a half track was released that ended with And I Am Back, Bye. Fans were assured that their favorite rapper was preparing for his comeback. In 2012, he got featured in a lot of places. He officially returned to Odd Future when he was featured in Oldie, his track in the OF's debut album The Of Tape, Volume 2. On November 2nd, he released his first solo single since his return from Samoa. The single was titled Chum. On August 20th, 2013, he released his debut studio album titled Doris under Tan Cressida, his own imprint, and Columbia Records.
His debut album received widespread critical acclaim by newspapers such as The Guardian and Los Angeles Times. It debuted at number 5 on the USA Billboard 200 and became number 1 on US Top Rap Albums Chart. In 2014, he released various songs such as 45, Quest Slash Power, Vultures, and Hell. On March 22, 2015, Earl's second studio album titled I Don't Like Shit, I Don't Go Outside, an album by Earl Sweatshirt, was released digitally. The physical version was released on April 14, 2015.